What's up, Money Minds, and welcome back to another video edition of our Sunday Market Briefs newsletter. Today is November 7th, and here's some business and financial news you can finally use. Honestly, we almost forgot what time it was because daylight savings time just came to an end today. In other words, here in Detroit, we just lost an hour. Also, that means winter is coming. In our first main story of the day today, let's go over some resume red flags. But before we get into all of that, my name is Nate from Minority Mindset News, and if you like this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button below and hit that notification bell too. That way YouTube shows our videos to way more money minds around the world, and we can keep making videos just like this one. The October jobs report came out just a few days ago, and it revealed that the US snapped back after a pretty bad report in September. So if you're looking for a new job or interested in switching things up, now might be a really good time to update your resume. But beware, there are a few things you should definitely avoid if you're trying to find a new job. According to Mr. Wonderful, AKA Kevin O'Leary, one of the biggest red flags you can have on your resume is if it shows you've been bouncing around from job to job. Of course, there are a few completely understandable reasons for you leaving a job to go to another one. But if an employer sees this on a consistent basis, it might be a huge red flag. Leary said on this topic that companies don't like it because they invest in you. Nowadays, turnover rates for most industries are a lot higher than they used to be. People are switching their jobs for new reasons and by bouncing around more than ever. And if you're asking to be a part of a new team, the company wants to know that you are in it for the long haul. The bottom line here is this. If you are looking for a new job and you actually show a new employer that you are dedicated to the position, you are a lot more likely to actually get that job than somebody else who's just constantly bouncing around from job to job. In our second main story of the day today, the average Thanksgiving dinner might end up costing each American more this year. Turkey, sweet potatoes, wine, and cranberry sauce are going to be a lot pricier this Thanksgiving, and they might even be harder to find. Last month, the Consumer Price Index, which measures average price fluctuations, rose by around 1% and around 5.4% when compared to last year. And of course, inventory has become scarce due to, you guessed it, supply chain issues. But we have some tips to help you save some money while putting on an extravagant Thanksgiving and eat your weight in Thanksgiving food. Number one is maybe you might wanna think about boycotting that turkey. For some traditional families, the thought of cutting out the star of Thanksgiving dinner might sound like blasphemy, but it will save you a ton of room in your wallet. Turkeys may cost you 16% more this year than they did back in 2019. So if you can live without the bird this Thanksgiving, try going for a different meat instead, like ham. Or just fill up on all the side dishes. That's what I do. Number two, try to get people to participate. Instead of hosting one big meal for a bunch of freeloaders, try to get everyone to pitch in and have a potluck instead. Have everyone bring their own dishes to pass around. This will split up the cost and time amongst all of the attendees. And of course, plan ahead. The best thing you can do is shop in advance. There are plenty of Thanksgiving ingredients that stay fresh for a long period of time and can be bought right now. If you spread out your shopping, shop the sales, and only buy a few things at a time, you'll likely save a ton of money throughout the season. That is it for our main two stories of the day today. So let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Fundrise. Now you can finally invest in real estate, but without unclogging toilets, with Fundrise. Fundrise is the first simple, low-cost real estate investment platform. When you invest with them, you'll get paid with dividends every single quarter. And your money is invested into a portfolio of real estate, and not just one property. All you need to do is fund your account and pick your investing goals. And you can do this all with as little as $500. And for whatever reason, if you are not happy with Fundrise, they will buy your investment back from you within the first 90 days. So if you wanna learn more about Fundrise and see all of their historical returns, I'll leave a link in the description below on exactly how you can do that. Big shout out to Fundrise for sponsoring this video. And now, Back to the news. Next up, federal stimulus checks were sent out to the poor and middle class to help them deal with the economic fallout from the pandemic. 
Unfortunately though, a lot of those checks ended up getting lost or were sent to the wrong people. A new report showed that around 18 billionaires ended up receiving federal stimulus checks. And that same report showed that around 270 people with a combined income of around 5.7 billion also received stimulus checks. How could this happen? Well, these billionaires received stimulus checks due to, and I quote, tapping complex tax deductions to reduce their net income to less than zero. That's what a report from ProPublica noted. Oops! And finally, self-driving cars are supposedly the future of automotive. But what about farming? A self-driving farm bot developed by Carbon Robotics can kill around 100,000 weeds. This is a new form of measurement we're not used to. What's even cooler is it kills the weeds by using laser beams. According to Carbon Robotics, the nutrients that are in our vegetables has decreased by around 40% in the last two decades. This is partly because of the harsh herbicides that we use. Herbicides are typically used to kill weeds. So Carbon designed this farm bot to only harm the harmful plants. Pretty cool, right? But that is it for today's Business and Financial News. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you like these Sunday segments, let me know in the comments and we might keep making more. Keep hustling, Money Minds, and I'll see you all in the next one.